As I walk through the valley where I harvest my grain, I take a look at my soldiers and realize they're very plain. I am large. I contain multitudes. Today in Kenshi, we create the world's greatest religion. It's called brainwashing. You see, the way it works is very simple. All I do is run over with Holy Lord Phoenix. Today I'm zerging by creating the world's newest religion. It's called word of mouth. Bless you, Holy Lord Phoenix. The Lord of Light recognizes your good deeds, Holy Brother. Join me in conquest of the vile. Kindness is a disease. And thus by talking to everyone we meet, we can convince them all to join us. It may neuter the holy nation of its power, but they also have unlimited manpower. And in doing all of this, we may start with a squad of 214, but that number quickly ramps up as we convince everyone in the holy nation to join us. So making short work of the Black Dragon Genin, we recruit every last paladin from the holy nation. In the meantime, we can order everyone else to follow Holy Lord Phoenix. Well, we ramp up our squad to near 250 members. I'm assigning a small squad of paladins to defend the homeland and farm the wheat. This way our home stays safe, and then when they're done defending it, everyone can just follow Holy Lord Phoenix wherever he goes. We slowly recruit manpower and everyone is slowly starving, but hopefully we'll have enough food to keep us through the winter. And I figure that when you have 250 guys, what difference does it make if some of them are starving a bit? The one problem that does occasionally pop up is the inability to move past the paladins, but for the most part, since Holy Lord Phoenix is faster than them, they can never box him in completely. We just have to keep him moving at a steady enough clip that they never get past him. Eventually we'll have them in formation, but I just think it's too much fun to have them do this right now. We're all going to occupy this building for a moment. This is going to be a very delicate process as it, the game turns into a slideshow. I'm just going to buy him some food, and someone's attacking the bakery, I think. And there's a ninja in the bakery. Okay, we will just talk to these people, reason with them, have them join us. Whoever knew we would find an army in the bakery. And that man just clipped through the wall, but we got what we needed. We got Holy Lord Phoenix some bread. Now it's time to run out before everyone blocks the door. And now they do tend to pick fights when they're- yeah, my frame rate is just- <laughs> The frame rate is suffering just a bit, but it does it does pick up. Now we'll head over to Rebirth to recruit the rest of our army, where I think Holy Lord Phoenix should find enough men to conquer the world. I don't even really know who they're fighting back there, but I don't think even if we fought ourselves, the guards, we would be any worse off. Uh, this army has just become far too large. Yeah. It's really something biblical in its proportions. Look at them. That's only half the army. There's another half of guys over here, right? Well, that's most of them. That's probably about 200 guys. I think we should... We might even just go straight for, uh... We might even just go straight for what's-his-name? Catlon. I bet they could fight Catlon right now. And win. We'll just hire these last few guys. Okay, I am starting to legitimately question whether the game can handle this many <laughs> units on screen at once. Look at that. It's a slideshow. But I am getting better frame rate over here. Oh shit, the prayer people are on the way to our outpost. Uh, let's get out those books we threw on the ground. I, I bought a bunch of Holy Nation prayer books so that we wouldn't get questioned by this maniac. Little does he know that I am the leader of the Holy Nation. The god he's been praying to all along. I hope my men can get out of there. <laughs> they seem to be trapped in some sort of... Uh, error. Okay, it looks like I got my FPS back. And we'll just make our way over to Blister Hill. Okay, and the whole army should be here in a few minutes. It looks like- it looks like the game is working again. Here is the army. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like half the army, the other half is still coming in back there. I think they must be kind of hungry. Oh well, okay, we got them all on screen at once now. We get these last few guys. Oh, crap, the prayer day people are here. We have to go talk to him. He's gonna- he's gonna make us pray. No, uh, no, he's gonna expect me to have a Bible. Not a Bible. What is it, the holy flame? Oh, no, they're gonna attack us if we don't pray. Okay. Okay, Holy Lord Phoenix, just grab a copy of your own book. Here we go. I- I have my holy flame on me, the religious book. All right, uh... Let's do it. Let's do the praying. Here we go. Yeah, give me- hit me with those prayers. All right, I got my holy flame. Now hold on to my hand. Okay, we're holding hands with some sort of hippie John Lennon. Okay, I'll start. I love my- how gung-ho I am. Oh shit, I messed up my prayers. Uh, wait, no, I- I, I totally am you. No, don't burn me. Oh shit, did we just make war with ourselves? Oh no, alarm raised. Are we gonna be hostile with Blister Hill now? Okay, we gotta run before- <laughs> They find out that I'm actually an imposter, Holy Lord Phoenix. I messed something up here. Ah, uh, whatever. I guess we just won't do prayer day. Alright, we, uh, let's hide the bodies. I think only the prayer people- uh, at least the paladins are on my side. Somehow these guys got stuck in this house. <laughs> I do not know what is going on here. 
What the hell is going on? We'll just have to pick them up out of the house one by one. There's like an invisible wall. I love picking men up out of a house. There we go. Everybody's been picked up out of that goddamn house. Okay, let's see how holy Lord Phoenix doing. He's actually being pushed so that he has to walk all of the time. Let's see what happens when he actually walks. If he walks, will he get completely surrounded by his men? Yeah, they slowly start to envelop him. Let's try going swimming. What happens then <laughs> when he goes swimming? <laughs> oh, wow, that is awful. Just the sound of it is incredible. That's awful. That's terrible. Swimming in formation. Can he at least get some peace and quiet? All right, well, I figure if we have so much manpower that we have no idea what to even do with it, let's attack somewhere big. Mm, I don't like this swamp. Why don't we go for the shacks? I bet we could take down the shacks with one run right here. Okay, just set him to jog. And he actually just has to stay away from all of his men. <laughs> I like how the backpack guy's like, I'm there with you, chief. I'm there. This is gonna be the most cursed march of all time. Look at that. <laughs> 250 guys all together. What happens if we set them to max sprint? It's like a game of, uh, holy shit. Look at, look at them. They just turn into a massive blob. They totally lose cohesion. Okay, let's sit back to match speed. No, he's not getting them. Okay. Everybody go together. Oh, because we got to select them all together. Oh, this is just a beautiful mess. Come on, guys. Just follow Holy Lord Phoenix to the next destination. I'm sure no one will get their teeth knocked out if we all run like this. Well, I'll be fine if we just go by the Zerg strategy. Oh, there he is, the protector of the flame. He's the other one I want to keep track of. Okay, he'll be fine. Now, I've got 240 out of the required 256. So we're not quite there, but we're getting pretty close. This isn't even my final form. I wonder what other people wonder when they pass by us. Just, <laughs> what is that? Ah, more of the holy nation. Splendid. Let's just envelop them into our mass. There we go, we have just consumed them. And where are the rest? We're gonna have to move away to find out who's still left. Okay, there they are, they're just wandering in a circle. No, don't run away. Okay, I give up. Give up on you, you live your own life. Today we go on the ultimate Zerg rush. Today, Holy Lord Phoenix. Tomorrow, 200, ooh, you're gonna regret that. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, he's gonna medic himself, and most of the guys aren't even aware that we're fighting, there's just- Holy shit, that's a lot of paladins. <laughs> Let's just turn off the HUD, because that starts to become- Oh my god. Are they even- Where is Holy Lord Phoenix anymore? Most of them are so preoccupied with following Holy Lord Phoenix, they don't even get into the combat. I'm worried about enemies with heavy weapons that are just gonna hit all of them in one hit. That's crazy. So many guys are just clipping through walls. All I need to do is just stand somewhere and eventually it's all destroyed. All right, are we done doing our medics? All right, they're all healed up and we're ready to go. Mm, I have a better idea than attacking the Sheks. I don't even think we're gonna be able to see the Sheks at this rate. I'm gonna go somewhere else. Somewhere there's almost as many spam units. I think we're actually seeing the loops of code happening right here. That's how long it takes them to fight. Holy, oh shit. I think we angered our own faction by praying wrong. <laughs> Well, so much for that. I can still recruit their paladins, though, so never mind, never mind. God, look at them all spread out right here. Wow, they don't even all move at once. It just takes them that long to get started. That's bananas. Okay, onward to the swamps. And we'll all just arrive there at various times. Hopefully we will all get there. Some Nobody will get caught on a rock or something. The hivers will have no idea what is coming next. Holy nation conquest. Well, apparently uh, we angered our own faction, but we could just... Because of this mod, we could just convince them all to come and join our faction again, so... I I think it's kind of impossible to become hostile to yourself when you can just talk your enemies into joining you. Let's talk to the guy who's trying to discipline us. I think it's spawning more guys through this. Whatever, at least that's infinite troops for us. It just keeps on spawning a new paladin. It looks like your squad is a little full. Okay, you won't even join us. Whatever, we'll just... Right, refusal to participate in prayer day is a... They're just gonna walk away. Okay, that is the most passive-aggressive way to just walk away. What are they... I guess they're guarding our base? Well, that's weird. They just went into a building. Okay. All right, that's a, an awesome bug. In the meantime, let's set off on the world's wackiest crusade. This is gonna be crazy. <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. Okay, here they all come. Whoa, that wasn't even all my troops. And just go right there. Don't get in- don't go near the acid, though. Let's just see how it looks. Here they go. Here they come. Uh, are they- they're not even hostile to us yet. Well, yet. Okay, we're just gonna attack the hivers. Where is Holy Lord Phoenix? There he is. And nobody go in the water. Okay, attack this guy. And... All right, let's see if we can take out all of the hivers like this. <laughs> Here they come. Here they come out of their houses. Walk away. Are they- 
are the workers even gonna fight us? Now they're like, get that guy. Let's just keep be- Okay, here we go. Now is the real fight. How many of them against us? This still might not even be enough troops. Most of the hivers are just still walking around. Hmm, what is big and bad enough for us to actually have a fight? They took down a gorilla like it was nothing. Wow, holy lord, Phoenix can't even sit still. <laughs> they can't- I can't even see them. Most of my guys are just following me. There really aren't as many hives as I thought that there were. Okay, we're- we're in the hive. We have more people than the hive. That's bananas. Oh no, guys, don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. Very bad idea. Very bad idea. No, let's get out of here. The water is gonna kill you faster than the hivers. An assault on the hive, you just noticed. Okay, let's go back. Well, we left only suffering and death wherever we went, and gorillas will finish off the remaining hivers. I think it's safe to say that we won, but I have a bigger, better target for us. Something I think we can go all alone right now already. You know what I'm thinking? Food can wait. Let's just, uh, let's just go by Darwinism for this first part. Survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. Whoever can make it with Holy Lord Phoenix. Whoever's got the chutzpah. How long does this go on for, this entire line? Holy shit. Holy shit. This is like, that's crazy. You know what? We'll get there somehow. We'll get there somehow. You know, I'm just gonna say it's a miracle that my computer is still running. Uh, so we'll think about food a little later on. This is awesome. I bet we could take down Catlon in one hit. We have twice as many people as his thralls, and they have the same stats, if not a little bit better. I mean, my guys naturally hate skeletons. They have 50% extra damage against robots, too. Yeah, this is gonna be no contest. That's gonna be crazy. Yeah, we're going straight for Catlon. There's no better enemy for him. Everyone does 50% more damage against robots. Oh shit, I think Holy Lord Phoenix got burned by one of those lights. <laughs> He's gonna... <laughs> He's gonna be paying for that. Oh, looks like somebody got into a fight with a beak thing. Survival of the fittest. <laughs> Bring everybody together. I like it how they can just spin at light- they can just swim at light speed since the game doesn't even want to process it anymore. Like, it's too much to handle. I like it how Backpack guys, he's really kept up there with, uh, he stood his ground with Holy Lord Phoenix. Okay, let's all just cool off in the water here. It's like Lawrence of Arabia. Pool party! Pool party. Yeah. Okay, backpack guy, go get us some food. We desperately need it. If 21,000 cats spend everything you have at Flats Lagoon and come back with some sandwiches, we'll be waiting outside. Looks like a few guys got left behind, but hey, you're only gonna get so far in life. There's still a few guys got stuck over there. All right, Paladin 2, you're ordering for 200. You have to go to the bar and the grocery store. 14 food cubes, six loaves of bread, eight meat wraps. Oh, we ran out of money. Shit. Oh, this might be enough to take us back. We're gonna run out of money at some point, unless we start turning in a lot more bounties. All right, everybody. I have the food. <laughs> they all eat it immediately. Are they gonna eat everything right away? Let's see. Will they even pay attention to me? I guess we should just order them all to move somewhere. Hopefully they'll eat it. There they go. Just walk through the army. Walk through the army. Give out the food. Oh, fuck. They didn't even all eat it. Okay, let's just regroup for a second. Everybody get the flats. It says that there are a bunch of guys stranded out here, but I don't see- Oh, shit. Yep. We lost a few. <laughs> we lost a few. Alright, well at least, you know, at least they're completely dead. I think they might have actually got hit by a sunbeam while they were out here in this, uh, in this burning waste. That almost happened to Holy Lord Phoenix while we were out there. Alright, RN Jesus is, uh, not- not so kind to us today. Alright, let's take everybody who made it to the Ashlands, and if we somehow survive this, we'll trade in Catlon for a bounty. Or at least his AI core to get our money back. I can't believe this. It looks more like Total War than Kenshi. Ooh, this guy's not gonna make it. Paladin Nameless. Man, when they get into big groups, they just start doing weird shit like this. They bunch up, they stop, then they keep running. It's like a traffic jam of people. No matter what happens though, I'm still confident that the power of spam will bring us through this and that because of our sheer numberage, we will beat the enemy. I could keep on going on to see our reinforcements for miles. Here's more. We're still going. We're still going. We're still going. I would be scared if this were coming to me. Oh, an encounter with the... Who are they? Skeleton bandits. Uh, do they hate us? No, they don't hate us. Oh, they do hate us. Okay. We hate them. We hate them too. They're limping a bit more, but they're still good for, uh... We'll see how they do against Catlon. Here we go. It's snowing instead. Okay, just take some time to regroup and heal up. This is the biggest group of Holy Nationers that have ever made it here. That guy's bloody. Yeah, it looks like everybody lost about 10 or 12 health here. Alright, well, they're mostly healthy, and there's really only two people I need to come out of this alive. So let's head on to Catlon. Come on, bring everybody. I've never brought this many men to the Ashlands, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, we're going in for the biggest toy soldier fight that's 
ever been had. Uh, everybody, why is everybody coughing? Why? Tell me why is everybody coughing? We're gonna lose a lot of guys, but... It'll be worth it just to see the spectacle. Okay, Ashlands Dome 4, here we come. <laughs> Trying to think if there's any way we need to engineer this fight. No, I think I think we're just gonna go in at him. Just go at him. Let's make sure we at least get to Catlon, though. Catlon should be in the final one. Okay, there they are. There's the enemy. We're going straight past him, though. We want to make sure we take out Catlon, and then we'll come back for these people. Our swords are way stronger against them, though. Look at all the green we're getting. The people who do get left behind. Okay, Catlon is right here. Yeah, okay, everybody just surround Catlon. And here we go, uh, everybody is in Catlon's door. Now they get- fuck the guys who got left back there. Uh, okay, you know what, Holy Lord Phoenix, how would you do in a f Yeah, I would not- I would not try to fight us, Catlon. Can I call you Cat? Alright, is- he won't even get a chance to go re. He's just gonna die. Uh, now let's see if he kills Holy Lord Phoenix, though. Would he win in a f- oh wait, looks like he might not even get a chance to fight him. Shit, he is strong though, and he has a heavy weapon, so he'll probably take out a lot of guys. Paladin, yeah, he is one-shotting some of our guys too. Damn. All right, well, how are we doing? Whoa, we're doing really well against these thralls. Holy shit. Holy Wait, I just gotta take a second to take it all in. Jesus, look, this guy's about to bitch slap that thrall. In the he doesn't even have a face. Okay, we are doing even better than I thought we would against these thralls. How are we doing against- Catlon is still proving to be way more challenging than I expected. Um, even against this many guys, though, yeah, he is gonna go down. Now, the question is, I wanted to put in, uh, Holy Lord Phoenix again, and, uh, in against him, so he could fight like man. But it looks like his armor is just that strong. Now, I don't want to lose track of him. Okay, yeah, he is gonna lose by a lot. Our weapons just do so much more damage. Oh, shit, look at that. Jesus. Are we... We just annihilated these thralls. Oh, my God. I thought this would be a bigger challenge than it was. Okay, how is, uh, how is the Protector of the Flame doing? How is Backpack Guy doing over here? Backpack that Guy is doing great. Oh, thank God for Backpack Guy. Hey, right, let's not lose track of Catlon, because, uh, I don't want to lose his bounty. It looks like we've taken out, like, all of the thralls, though, already. That's crazy. We've taken out every single thrall already. And we should, uh, ooh, damn. He might actually take down Holy Lord Phoenix. That would be kind of climactic if he did. I'd, I'd say that would be a victory for Catlon if he did that. Shit. Damn. Catlon took down Holy Lord Phoenix. Even with 200 guys surrounding him. No. No, 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 no. Backpack guy, come save me. No, backpack guy, where are you? Oh no, that's not backpack. Who is that? Somebody just we left behind in nature. Where is Holy Lord Phoenix? Where is Holy Lord Phoenix? <laughs> Oh shit, where is he? Um, I guess that they're picking him up. Storm Thrall, where is- Oh man, did I lose Catlon? How did he wind up up here? Okay, go down the stairs, Holy Lord Phoenix. Yes, very good job, Holy Lord Phoenix. We love you, Holy Lord Phoenix. Where is the body of Catlon? The where is the body of Catlon? Ugh, oh, amid all that fighting, I lost the body- Okay, he'll get back up. He'll get back up. <laughs> Some of our guys are just crawling on the ground now. Oh shit, could it be? Storm Thrall. Oh, there's Catlon. Yep, he's back again. I take him down. I thought he would get back up. I'm not sure if anybody except for Holy Lord Phoenix is gonna be able to get in much of a hit on him, though. Yeah, Holy Lord Phoenix is probably the best one in fight against him, but I don't want you to die, baby. No, run. High Paladin is dead. We lost like three guys in this whole fight. That's bananas. He looks so fucking cool. Did you see that spin attack? Jesus. My god, look at how much damage he's dealing, though. He is truly badass. My god, Catlon is ins- He's incredible. He's amazing. Even after doing all that damage to him, he still hasn't gone down. And he went through the floor. He is truly the only one left, though. All of the other storm thralls are crap. And Holy Lord Phoenix goes down again. Wow. Cue in the sadness and the sorrow theme from Naruto. Now he's just downing my guys. He one-shots them all, but there's far too many of them. It's symbolic of the skeleton's defeat, and they're leaving from this world. They take him only five damage, and he's gonna go down like Sauron. Jesus. I think we've found a truly badass character. I really want to play as Mad Catlon next. If only I could do these things to people. Oh, we are gonna bug him, though, and he'll go down. Take him down. Jesus Christ, how many guys is that? He's just spinning now. He's like a Dynasty Warriors character. Come on, somebody. Somebody take him down. Somebody take him down. He's inside of the stairway. There he is. He's on top of the stairway again. How did he do that? I don't know. Here we go. Come on, just down him, please. Somebody down him. I'm so glad I fought him with bugs before. Okay, there we go. He's down. 
No, he's not. I lied. Holy shit. He is really fucking strong. This is why playing as one NPC is just so goddamn overpowered in this game. Look, he's going up the stairs. He's getting away. He's getting away. Find this man. Where has he gone now? Where, where is he? Oh, he is definitely right there somewhere. Oh, now he's engaging us on the stairs. Holy shit. Catlon truly is badass. Look at how well he's doing in this. He has two left on his chest. Oh my god. God, this guy. This guy is amazing. There we go, we got him again. Three left on his chest. And we got him down. Oh, shit. Somebody loot him. Oh, this holy sentinel. For crying out loud. Jesus. Okay, take out his shit. <laughs> This robot is down. No more robots. No more robots, please. Okay, this- this random mass pallet- Look, there's still a guy floating through midair. There's like 20 guys floating through midair. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's put that into the inventory of, uh... Well, you come over here. Okay, backpack guy, you take this stuff. No, Hot Longs is in a coma. <laughs> Fuck, no, Hot Longs. Well, you know what to do, backpack guy. I believe that that May 2 falling sun is yours now. Put away thy weapon. You deserve it. Oof, Jesus, everybody is just in shit shape. Look at how bad everybody looks after that fight. Even Holy Lord Phoenix got effed up. I don't know how many of you are gonna survive that shit, but let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god, they're all limping. Anybody who's not an invalid is allowed to survive here. What about Holy Lord Phoenix? Is he- Okay, he is actually still running. That's that's good. What about backpack guy? Backpack guy is fine and the protector of the flame is also very well. Well, they're not well, but they'll live. All right, the rest of you are just, uh, victims of Darwinism gone wrong. Hot longs, I'm leaving you behind, baby. And if these guys somehow manage to make it out of here, <laughs> look at this guy's arms. <laughs> he's just, he's become a wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube man. <laughs> or a wind dancer, as they sometimes call them. Um, have you somehow managed- yes, your arms are messed up. <laughs> If you somehow manage to survive this, then you are welcome back. You will have been a lot stronger. Does anyone have any- you all do have- Okay, you know what? Help each other out. Uh, if you somehow manage to survive this, I would be surprised. Otherwise, I can just recruit exact copies of you when we get home. Alright, me and the rest of the main army will be leaving. Oh, I think somebody died. Yeah. Oh, there is one guy who survived. Do you see this? This guy right here survived. Watch his arms in a second. He's gonna be running. He, his arms are really effed up. He's doing a Naruto run, but... He did survive all of that, and he can still run at full speed. Well, good for him. Yes, your arms are messed up. There, there he goes. Well, he's a wild and crazy guy. Well, I won't leave you behind. You can, you can still come. There he goes. He's going of his own will. Oh, thralls. Well, we'll leave them behind. We, we got the main prize. I never thought I'd do it. That's actually the first time I've ever taken an army to the Ashlands and come out alive. Victorious. Okay, the other guys have finally made it to Ashlands Dome 3. <laughs> We're probably just gonna leave them here. <laughs> Maybe we'll check in on them. I think it would be entertaining to just <laughs> let them cross the world as the journey goes on. Kind of reminds me of the Russian army, you know? Like an actual historical army that ran through the snow in retreat. It's beautiful and majestic. Except at the same time, it looks kind of effed up here. Well, according to this count, we've lost around 80 people so far. <laughs> just from going there and back. Let's go check in on people and see what our various circumstances are. You know what, screw it. I want everybody to run home at full speed. Let's just set everybody to sprint back. Whoever makes it for first in this uh, evolutionary race is allowed to survive. It looks like a lot of these guys have given up and they're just struggling. It's like a giant human centipede. Oh, it's so sad and beautiful at once. A life of sniffing ass. They'll never make it. None were spared. In the meantime, while we wait for as much of our army to get back as possible, let's uh, start focusing on our wheat farms. Eventually, we will have to feed all of these people, and I set up a dedicated crew of farmers to stay here at the homeland. Their entire function in life is just reaping the fields and making food. We'll make a two more farms. I think that this building might be permanently broken. I can't even fix it in dev mode. We'll just set all of the other paladins and sentinels here to set up the farms alongside our other men. Something so gratifying about an agrarian lifestyle. While all of your men die in foreign wars. Oh, well, they've made it about halfway back, so I think we'll have an army still. We've now reached a strange behavior where Holy Lord Phoenix just runs back and forth. I'm not sure it's gonna... Will he even- will he even be able to handle that on his way home? There he goes. Past the beak things. Well, looks like our army's finally returning after all that. And here they return to the Fertile Valley. I think that was the world's largest Pyrrhic victory. We still have so many people. <laughs> we lost- We lost 160 troops out of our 250. And that was mostly just on the way there and back. Like, the way that it controls 
to move men from place to place across the map. They'll sometimes just start moving back and forth. They'll do- uh, yeah, there's- look at all the people in Flats Lagoon. I don't even know why they're there. We have a bunch of slow movers there. All the guys who are down are still over here. These guys I expected to die. We probably lost, like, another- I don't know. We probably lost a hundred just to crossing the map. But we did it. We took down Catlon, and Backpack Guy did survive. He doesn't have a med kit. All right, Backpack Guy, go to Blister Hill. Cash in. We did have enough for a new weed farm. We actually have enough to sustain ourselves now in our lowered number. Well, women in the Holy Nation will just keep pumping out babies. Well, let's see if we can actually get these guys into a decent formation. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Backpack Guy, you lead one squad. Everybody in this squad, follow Backpack Guy. Backpack Guy, you go over here. You lead your own life now. Holy Lord Phoenix, you go over here. Okay, we get the Holy Lord Phoenix squad and we get the Backpack Squad. Now we're just gonna dismiss all of the maimed or dead guys. Sorry. Goodbye. Oh god, these guys in Flats Lagoon are stuck in some sort of code loop. Like they're in the Bermuda Triangle or something. We'll try to save them. <laughs> Amid all of the solar flares and death heat rays. Uh, you know what, uh, at the end of the day, what doesn't kill you make you strong- Oh wait, that guy's missing an arm. Okay, we're gonna say goodbye to him. Sorry. We can't give you robot limbs with the Holy Nation or they'll get angry at us. You could still live here. Um, I'm trying to see who else there is. I'm sure we'll figure out about other, uh, horrible injuries. Anyway, everybody looks not really intimidating anymore, but just kind of, uh, confused. I think we're gonna need to re-recruit our army, but hey, you know what? We actually have an infrastructure now. We have Backpack Guy. We have killed Catlon. We have more money. Sure, our military has been basically neutered, but we have the Fertile River and a pool party. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to conquer more local areas next time. I, uh, I've been trying to figure out how to conquer the Kenshi world. I don't know if you can actually maintain supply chains with groups this big, but, uh, I did this preemptively for Chad Palpatine, so... We'll see, we'll see what size a group Chad Palpatine leads around. I have some ideas. Anyway, we'll re-recruit our army for next time. We'll get them into some actual formations. And, uh, I think we'll do the same things, but we'll just conquer local areas. I'm seeing how this works now. We've now, we've now officially conquered the farthest place on the map. So it's only inward from here. Anyway, let's make more of the world a holy nation. And your descendants will be as numerous as the stars in the sky. Okay, everyone is just intimidatingly posing here, so I think I'm just gonna leave it and try to figure out what's going on with these guys. <laughs> All kinds of crazy things happen when you go over the pop cap. As always, my name's Ambiguous Amphibian. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.